How loud is too loud? Complaints regarding wind turbine noise. The Navy invests in solar power upgrades and light up your tree with LEDs this holiday season. This is your daily energy report. report for Tuesday, November the 23rd. I'm Ben Lack and I'm in Isla Mujeres, Mexico today to bring you the top energy news. Leading off, the installation of clean energy is often greeted with great enthusiasm, cheaper energy bills, and environmental benefits simultaneously. However, many wind farms are drawing complaints regarding the noise generated by these turbines. General Electric has published a report to address this concern and determine just how loud a turbine is in comparison to other household noise polluters. According to the results, a turbine will sound similar to an air conditioner or refrigerator from 300 meters away, which is the equivalent of approximately three football fields. This ranges between 40 to 50 decibels. From 500 meters, the noise emitted drops to 38 decibels, even below the typical level of background noise for a populated area. However, experts claim it is not the volume of the sound, but rather the quality of the noise. According to the report, Many residents say that they are angry because they were misled by developers who downplayed the noise level and sound quality. However, there are residents who remain unfazed by neighboring wind farms. For those that are bothered, for now, there is no real solution besides adjusting to the constant drone of an air conditioner generating clean energy. The U.S. Navy's Naval Facilities Engineering Command has plans to secure funding from the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act to upgrade 32 buildings across three states to make them more energy efficient. The $69.3 million awarded by ARPA will be spent installing solar energy systems for buildings in Florida, Mississippi, and Texas. The project will also increase employment for the area as panels are constructed and installed on rooftops. The solar energy systems are expected to produce 9,399 megawatt hours of renewable energy in the first year and save the Navy almost $900,000 annually. The buildings were selected for upgrade by Atlantic contingency constructors, whose recommendations were reviewed by the Navy. The project, once completed, will bring the Navy closer to meeting its goal of 50% renewable onshore energy by the next decade. Have thoughts or comments about today's show? Then please visit us at dailyenergyreport.com and let us know what you think. That's all the time that we have for today. Thanks for watching and tune in tomorrow to check out the latest Daily Energy Report. Have a great day.